Hi guys, so here's another video. I just want to show you one of um, the dancers that I think she used to wear Dreampoint 2007 Pre Arch, which still looks beautiful on her, but she's grown. So here is Sophia. She has a very flexible foot, lovely arches and insteps, and she gets over beautifully. This is Dreampoint 2007 Pre Arch, also known as Allure. And I've just put her in um, a bit of a bigger size now. If you would like to take parallel position facing one direction, first of all, as you can see, Sophia has a really lovely defined arch and the dream point looks stunning on her. And as usual, like the last video, I'm going to show you in a few different models. Then if you'd like to take a fifth position facing that direction as well. Yeah, that's bad. Nice. Looks really beautiful on her, gives a great support. And then um, would you like to do a little beret in these as well? Just so we can see your movement. That's great. And then now let's see um, from the front again in parallel. And we'll turn that to first position. Very good. And now let's see the back. So if you turn and face the bar for us. And then turn out to first position. Very nice. And now we have Nova Pro. Again, a great shoe on Sophia. The high wings give her a lot of stability, especially because she's got um, flexible feet. If you'd like to take a parallel position facing one direction, first of all. And of course, Nova has lower heel and lower sides. Obviously in these videos, I'm not gonna go into detail about the models and all the fine um, attributes about them. I'm just gonna show you how many different shoes work on one dancer's feet. That's the goal here. If you take a fifth position on point, let me just go from a four. Very nice. And take a beret. Very good. And let's see the from the front in first position as well. I forgot to do that. Great. And now let's see from the back. Up and turn up. And now we have the 3007. If you'd like to take a parallel position one side first of all. And take a fifth position. And take a little beret. Very good. And then do first position facing us on point. Yep, and now let's see from the back as well in parallel. And now turn out to first position. Great. And here's Super Triumph Pre-Arch, which is built on the Fuate last. If you'd like to turn out to first. As you can see, this shoe, um, although Sophia has more of a taper toe configuration, um, this shoe can actually work on tapered, semi-tapered, but also more broader kind of Roman toe configuration. If you'd like to do a parallel from one side, first of all. The heel cut on these is a bit high, so we get a little bit extra heel fabric there. If you'd like to take a fifth. And take a beret. And then let's see from the back. And turn out to first position. And here we have Sophia in standard triumphs. Um, so with the standard triumph, it's the version without the fermo shanks and the padded uh, inside. If you turn up to first and take a parallel from the side, and then take a fifth position and take a beret. And now face the bar in a parallel. And take a turn out to first position. And here
here we have Maya 1, also built on the Frate last. If you'd like to turn out to first position. And take a side on parallel. And take a fifth position. And take a beret. And face the bar in a parallel so we can see the back. And turn out to first position. Great. So as you can see, Sophia can work in many different models. And again, the aim of these videos is to show you guys that with one foot type alone, so many different lasts can work. And there's so much variety.